felting fans, it's Jules, and today I'm going to show you how I do a much more simple armature. This channel is all about needle felting, and I'm just muddling along learning how to do it myself, but it's just a place where I'm sharing what I've learned and how I do things, so I hope that you watch and subscribe, and I'm in a new space. Uh, it's a little bit of a mess here because I've been working on this little beagle and I'm making him in a sitting position with a totally much easier armature than I used to do. So I'm gonna do a video, since it's been a while, about how I do my much more simple armature. The last armature video I did when I showed you how I made that golden retriever was really complicated and wasted a lot of wire. So since then I've learned how to do it much more simply and I wanna show you now. To start, I always use either a 16 gauge or a 20 gauge wire. I find that they're really nice and sturdy and they make for a really easily bendable and poseable armature. I decide approximately how long I want the legs to be and then I make the first cut. And I cut another piece that is very similar size. third piece that is also very similar size. It's all just rough, nothing exact. So one piece will be the body and the other two are the front and back legs. So I'll take the wire that I'm going to use as the spine and stretch it out between the two that are the front and back legs. This is going to be the head, this is going to be tail, one or the other, and you take your core wall, there's a little stretched out piece like this, and put one thread like this, take the core wall, kind of wrap it around. This is the hardest part, I think, to be honest. To kind of get it where it's like this, kind of holding it in place. Do the same on the other side. Take a little piece of core wool like this. I really like this process because I don't use any glue at all. Kind of wrap it all around. And right now I'm just using the core wool to kind of tie the pieces together. Until you have two, basically like this. going to be the body, head, tail, legs. Done. Okay, so now instead of putting glue all over the wire, I take core wool and stretch it out into really long, long, long thin pieces as long as I possibly can. I take the end of the long thin pieces and anchor them to the core wool that's already there the part that I use to attach the legs to the body. Then I just start to wrap the long thin piece around all of the wire. So I go a little bit longer than the end and then I wrap back up. And then when I get back to the original piece of core wool, 
that attaches the body to the legs, then I use my needle to kind of stitch those together. And then I wind it all around, help it secure the legs and the body a little bit better. And then I keep going and wind around the next legs or the body or wherever makes sense. Just keep winding it around until eventually you wind around all of the wires that are showing. So this is already speeded up, but feel free to speed it up a little bit more. I'm just gonna show you how I wrap this entire dog. When I run out of core wool, I grab some more, and again, I try to make the longest, thinnest piece I can. My goal is to be able to start from where I anchored the legs and the body together, cover the entire leg all the way down and back, and be able to anchor it again so that I don't have to use any glue at all. When I get to the very end of the leg, again, I go a little bit longer than the leg, and then I start to wind my way back up. Here I am doing the tail and you do the same thing. You wind your way up, go a little over the wire and then wind your way back down. And later, once I'm finished winding all of the wool around all of the wire, I'll go with the needle and tuck it in. I'm on the edge of the wire right at the end and tucking in all of the wool to kind of solidify it and hold it in place. Okay, so now I've gotten wool around every single wire, tucked all the edges in, and you have a really nice form here that you can start making into whatever pose you want. So here's my armature all wrapped in wire, and I'm gonna make this the front. So this will be the chest. I'll bend it into place for the front legs. Now the back legs need a pelvis bone and I'll also bend them some hips.
So now I'm just fussing with it a little bit and making this chest a little more pronounced and probably add some elbow bones. I just kind of want to roughly have it look like a dog while it's standing. So there it is. It's a rough idea of a standing dog. So as long as it looks okay as a standing dog, then you can squish it like this and make it into a sitting dog, which is ultimately what I want to do with this particular dog. But there you can splay the little hips out and then bend the head forward so that it will look like it's a dog sitting. Or you could then make it into a dog that's lying down by stretching the legs forward and make it look like it's lying down. But I'm going to put it back in a sitting position for this demonstration. I notice the legs seem a little uneven, so I'm going to bend them into paws. So later I'll actually add more wool to make the paws, but here I'm going to use a little bit of the wire and bend one a little more than the other and then the legs are more even so he's sitting more straight. And now what's left to do is to fill in the body with more core wool. So I use the chest cavity and the little pelvic bones that I created and kind of fill that all in with core wool. So this is speeded up and you're welcome to speed it more but I'm going to show you how I filled out the whole dog including its head. So I know I'm making a beagle and I'm going to fill it out with the beagle in mind. But sometimes if you're making, like for instance, that little wiener dog back there, I made the body longer and made the legs shorter and made sure when I was filling it out that it looked more like a wiener dog. So I had a long nose and a round head and this one will have a shorter nose. So now also, rather than using long, super skinny strips of core wool, I just use big chunks of core wool because I'm just filling the dog in. So I'm not going to put any more core wool on his legs because I want the legs to be skinny, but the body I fatten up with big chunks of core wool. So I feel like he looks a little long in the back. So I'm actually going to bend him a little bit and make his back shorter and then just fill it in with core wool and you won't see that bend at all. Now I'm taking a chunk of wool and putting it around the front so that the chest is softer and you can't feel the, the wires I made the chest out of. For this part, I'm taking core wool and wrapping it around the hips to make his legs so they look more solid. And the whole idea is just to shape it. So I like using the wire underneath so I can bend it and then it will stay more easily. But you can also make things stay just by, you know, stabbing it a lot. <laughs>
So this dog is looking really skinny. So I'm going to start adding core wool to the sides now and really bulk up his back so you can't feel the wire or spine down the back very easily. Okay, now I'm going to make his head. So I'm making the neck and then I'm going to make just kind of an area for me to put the round ball of the head onto and shape the head as I go. I know a lot of people make the head and then add it. I can never figure out how to do that. So I always just make the head right there on the body. I feel like just shape wise and being able to figure out you know, like how it looks in relation to the body is just easier for me. And to make this snout, I'm just going to wrap it around my needle here and then kind of stick it on the face and I think needle it into the right shape. And now I'm just shaping, 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 trying to make it look kind of like the beagle. And I'll be shaping it more when I add the top coat. This is just kind of just a rough idea of what the body will look like, but he's super cute. Thank you so much for joining me today to see how I made this much more simple um, wire armature. This little guy is not finished yet, but I will be sure to share him on my Instagram account as soon as it is. So thanks for joining.